Huh, that's weird. I wonder why the flowers I planted here a week ago haven't started growing yet. YOU IDIOT! Hello everybody, and welcome back to another video in Animal Crossing New Horizons. This is the follow-up video that I spoke about in the last video to the Control Freak Island. And I asked you guys for help uh, to tell me how the money tree works, and none of you gave it to me. I'm sorry, I'm just kidding. I did manage to figure out how to get the money tree to spawn. Um, but before we talk about that, I just need to address something I said in my last video. In my last video, I said that you can breed flowers on the beach. That is 100% false. I was wrong. I'm sorry, guys. Um, I assumed that you could do it because I realized that flowers don't die on the beach and, um, in experience from previous games, if you had the perfect town, flowers wouldn't die on the beach and they could be bred on the beach if you had that perfect town ordinance. And uh, since the flowers didn't die, I assumed that they could be bred on the beach, but I was wrong. I shouldn't have assumed. I'm sorry. But I have figured out how to get the money tree to spawn. And it's as simple as having a 9 by 9 square of no tile blocks. Because I, the money tree has about the same spawning regulations as these rocks do. Except it cannot be touching any kind of path block or even the custom design tiles. So it needs a completely blank 3x3 space around it to spawn. But... Why you need 9x9 nine nine to get it to spawn is because, uh, if you guys don't know, in the way games are coded is nothing can happen truly simultaneously. Something happens before something else, always. And for some reason, the game is coded so that fossils spawn before the money tree does. And if a fossil is spawned right next to the money tree, the money tree cannot spawn. So that's why it wasn't spawning before. So I figured, so I just took into account uh, that you could easily have the worst possible luck at all. And since you get four fossils per day, as well as two weeds per day, um, I just counted it out to be a 9x9 nine nine square, and that works. It's been working. Uh, let me know if you guys have any trouble with this, um, I'll try to figure out what could be going wrong, but as far as I understand, 9x9 nine nine will be perfect to get the money tree to spawn consistently always, unless for some bizarre reason more than two weeds spawn or more than four fossils spawn, but I do not believe that can happen, but uh, let me know if I'm wrong. Now, you might be wondering, what's to keep the, the rocks from spawning inside here? Absolutely nothing. Um, I'm afraid you're going to have to make it a few days without rocks spawning. You just have to live a few days without any rocks. Um, I mean, sorry, without any fossils, money trees, or weeds. You just break all your rocks, uh, place down the tiles absolutely everywhere, um, Fill in this 9x9 nine nine space still. Uh, leave six spaces for rocks in whatever arrangement you want them. And then just wait for the rocks to spawn. And remember, the rocks need a 3x3 three three space around them. But they can have an overlapping 3x3 three three space. There just can't be anything within the tiles surrounding them. So that's how it works. And... Uh, I know I talked about maximizing getting the absolute max amount of bells, but who truly cares about 20 bells? That's around about what it would come to. Uh, just don't smash the rock fully, just uh, hit the rocks normally and then be done. Dig up your fossils, pick your weeds, plant your money tree, and basically what you need to do is you just um, dig up your money. Plant, bury your money back in the hole. Then you just dig up the tree and plant it somewhere else. 
just go somewhere else in your island and plant the new tree, just wherever. It doesn't really matter where it goes. And bada bing bada boom. Just plant it somewhere that can grow, that has a free 3x3 three three space surrounding it. That's important. 3x3 three three tends to be what you need for just about everything. And now, the one drawback of this method. Flower breeding. Now, you guys could just survive without flower breeding. If, if you don't breed flowers much, um, then you're fine, just don't, and everything will be okay. But, um, I don't really care that much about ultimate control, so I just, um, put some flower spaces in. Bonus tip, if you guys didn't know, if you water a flower all by itself, it has a chance to clone itself. So I just made little areas here for my flowers to breed. Um, now it is possible for weeds and fossils to spawn inside this area, so be careful of that. Um, you gotta be mindful. Breeding flowers does tend to lose you a little bit of control. Let me know in the comment section below if you figured out a way to breed your flowers without um, any fossils or weeds spawning where they should go. Or another thing you could do is make the area larger than 9x9, nine nine, just scale it up, and breed your flowers within the area. That could be one thing that works. And I haven't tested if the money tree can spawn um, if it's touching a flower. Uh, you guys can let me know that in the comments down below if you want or not. It's fine. Um, but yes, I'm not completely sure if that works. So just scale up the area if you want, breed your flowers, and then that'll be fine. Or you could just not breed your flowers and then everything's perfect. Or... Just set up little breeding areas where you wouldn't mind, or, you know, even better of all, just set up your little breeding fenced-in areas nearby wherever you have your 9x9 square. And that should fix just about everything, you just need to go inside your little flower breeding areas to pick up your fossils and weeds. But, that is about all I have time for today. Uh, remember to like and subscribe, and click that bell icon to get notified. Um, every like and subscription helps the channel, and makes it um, makes it easier for me to make these videos. Well, not really, because I'm not monetized, but that's fine. I mean, it's just nice to know that people like your videos when you make them, but it's fine. I make them anyway. Um, but thank you, everyone. But thank you, everyone, and this has been The Brain, signing off. Goodbye.